Okay, I know this is gonna sound a bit dramatic, but these four words have changed my life and I think they can change yours too. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new around here, why not leave a comment introducing yourself down below? It would be great to get to know you as a new viewer to this channel. And if you don't know me, I'm Sarah, I'm a doctor in the UK. And recently I have been doing a deep dive into the world of self-development and self-improvement. And I want to share with you everything that I've been learning because I feel like I'm just growing emotionally and I feel like I'm a better human for it. I want to share with you the blog posts, the books, the podcasts, the YouTube channels, things that I have found valuable and hopefully you'll get some value from them too. So today I'm going to be talking about the four words that have transformed the way that I think, the way that I make decisions and the way that I act. Those four words are hell yeah or no. Now you may have heard this phrase, it's from the book with the same title by Derek Sivers and if you don't already have a copy I would recommend you getting yourself one either at your local library or borrow from a friend or I've also put the link down in the description box below if you want to check it out. So hell yeah or no what is that all about and how can you use that to transform your own life? If you think about the world that we live in today we are very fortunate we have more decision we have more options available to us than our predecessors ever had we've got much more social mobility than ever before we can pick and choose a career that, that we want and as women we have more choices than ever before this is great obviously this is great but it also means that we've got more decisions to make on a daily basis and about our lives in general we don't just follow a set path live that life and you know, produce offspring that are gonna follow along the same path as us. This can make us feel overwhelmed in daily life. And I don't know if you've heard the term micro stresses, where you have constant decisions to be making, you're questioning yourself and it can make you feel overwhelmed. There's a reason that people like Steve Jobs were known for wearing the same outfit every single day because it eliminated the decision fatigue associated with having to make decisions all the time. So I love this phrase, hell yeah or no, because it does what it says on the tin. If something's not a hell yeah, 100% all in, then it's a no. So you can use it to guide small decisions in your life, which is a really helpful framework if you're making small decisions all the time. For example, do I want that donut? Hell yeah, I want that donut. So you eat the donut, but you can also use it to make bigger decisions in your life to give yourself a bit of time to reflect on the things that matter to you and then make the smaller decisions based on those big values. So for example, uh, it's nine o'clock at night and do you really want to be sitting on a hard chair studying? No, you really don't. It's not a hell yeah. But when you've thought about the big things that you want in your future, you want to get into medical school, get into accountancy school, do the thing, the big scary thing that you've been thinking of, then you need to be able to make the small action steps to get you towards those things. The big scary thing, like getting into medical school, is a hell yeah, so you do the actions that move you towards that big hell yeah goal. So this really transformed my life because I spent some time after I read an article about this book thinking about the big values in my life, the things that I will accept, the things I won't accept, my big goals, and basically coming up with a bit of a framework for my life. And I've molded that and changed it as time's gone on. But essentially, it's given me a way of being able to decide whether to say yes or no to opportunities and decisions without having to spend too much time or energy thinking about them. The first thing that I've found really helpful from this phrase is that it helps you to live intentionally. If you think about it, how many decisions in our lives are things that are told to us or kind of made to happen for us? You don't really get any decision about the school you go to, the culture that you're born into. And it's been shown again and again that people who are the happiest and most fulfilled are people who have a feeling of authority, autonomy and purpose in their lives. If we're able to make more decisions about things that actually matter to us and go wholeheartedly for those things, then ultimately we should be happier and feel more purposeful. 
The second thing that I like to think about this phrase is that you only have one life. Unfortunately, it's one of the things that I'm reminded of quite frequently as a doctor. Life is short and precious and I personally don't want to be the kind of person that looks back and wishes I'd done more or wishes I had done less of the wrong things. I find that the things in my life that I'm happiest about or proudest about are often the things that I've worked the hardest for and having this phrase of hell yeah or no in the back of my head helps me to be brave and make decisions that sometimes are against the status quo but that fit with my life and what I want to get from my, from my life. It allows me to accept when I'm doing things differently, when I'm swimming against, against the grain, going against the grain and doing things differently from my peers and my colleagues. If you're criticised then you'll know that you've done things that are right for you when you've thought about the big values and worked backwards from there. The third thing that I have found useful from this phrase is that it allows you to enjoy the mundane. As we were talking about the idea of getting into medical school, you don't want to be sitting there studying really when you think about your life in a minute by minute or hour by hour sense. But when you think about the big things and the big goals you want to achieve, it allows you to have a purpose and something you're looking forward to in the future and actually be able to enjoy the mundane because you know you're doing it for a purpose. Those are the foundations of your bigger goals. This stops us from mindlessly going through the motions of our lives and drifting through and instead makes us feel focused, energized and excited about our big goals and we know what we need to do to get there. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples from my own life about how I've applied this. Before I even applied to medical school, deep down I knew that becoming a doctor was my hell yeah thing. I really wanted it but I tried to talk myself out of it because I was saying that four years of extra study was too much. After all of the years of university I'd already done, I didn't want the financial burden of becoming a doctor and being a student again for all that time. I was coming up with reasons and excuses not to do it and thinking about other options. And I very nearly talked myself out of applying to medical school and instead applying for teacher training, which again, really difficult career, but I, looked at the training program for it which was two years rather than four and thought that it looked like an easier option. I spent a bit of time reflecting on this and as you will know if you've watched that video I had a really profound conversation with one of my colleagues that completely transformed what I chose to do and after reading the hell yeah or no principle it made me realise that medicine was my hell yeah and I needed to go for it with everything that I had. And I am so happy and proud that I did that and I just want to remind you that if you are aiming for a big goal that it's your hell yeah thing, then absolutely go for it with everything you've got. So if you want to use this principle in your life, then I would recommend setting aside some time to think about your big goals in life and to think about your values as well. And there were a couple of exercises that I've done that I've found really valuable and helpful in this. So I'll link them down below. And using those, you'll be able to think about the, the big things in life that excite you, that make you feel like life's worth living and that you've got things that you're aiming for and dreaming for, dreaming about. And it helps you to go through the process of mundane things day to day to get towards those bigger goals. To give you another example, I decided a few years ago I want to be financially independent. I want to get to a point in my life where I'm able to make money without having to rely on a full-time job to bring me income. And I have designed my life around that by being frugal in a lot of areas of my life, by trying to make more money outside of my job and by investing and growing my wealth. So when I'm thinking about my day-to-day -day financial decisions, I'm guided by that principle of financial independence. And it's really, freeing to be able to have like a set framework about the things that you need to make daily decisions about and it takes away the decision fatigue that we have as a generation going through a life where we have more decisions to make than ever before. So to recap the three things that I have found from living this life of hell yeah or no is that one, it helps me to live more intentionally. Two, it reminds me that we only have one life and we should live it as fully as we possibly can. And three, that it allows us to enjoy the day-to-day -day process 
leading up to our goals. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. Don't forget to check out the links down in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.